Ski Television is brought to you by Columbia's Omni Heat. Keep your warmth, not your sweat. Nila, making premium German appliances since 1899. And by Ski Vermont, winter in its original state. This week, Martha Lee carves it up at Panorama Mountain Village. On the Freestyle File, it's half-pipe superstar Roz Grunewald. And later in the show, Josh Foster gets proactive on his skis. Located in the heart of the Powder Highway is the beautiful lakeside town of Invermere. We're just up the road this week at Panorama Mountain Village, where I'm going to be exploring some of the longest vertical runs in Canada, impeccably groomed runs, and some newly gladed terrain in Tayton Bowl. Stick around. Located in British Columbia's Purcell Mountains, Panorama Mountain Village offers spectacular scenery and incredible skiing over 2,800 acres. Known for its long groomers and the challenging off-piece terrain of Tayton Bowl, Panorama's 4,000 vertical feet offers terrain for all ability levels. A base area village with a variety of off-piece activities and great restaurants will complete your visit to Panorama. I heard the buzz before arriving and I felt it as we pulled into the Panorama Springs Lodge. Panorama Mountain Village has a re-energized atmosphere with investments focused on uncompromised excellence and a diversified menu of activities on and off the slopes, my new local ski friends, Ali and Jasmine, were the perfect guides to show me the exciting changes that breathe life into one of Western Canada's favourite places to ski. The first time I came to Panorama, that was like 14 years ago and I started working for snow school and I've been here ever since. This uh, train is so versatile, there's so much to ski here. Um, and even this year, Tayton Bowl has new gladed areas. They've gladed sidewinders, C-spine, and it's just amazing. So Tayton opened up a few years ago, um, prior to it being Panorama's property, RK Heli used it for heli skiing. Uh, we opened it up and uh, it was kind of tight trees um, and over the last few years we've slowly gladed it and made it more accessible for all levels of skiers. So this summer we had some heli ski guides come in and glade a new section um, called Stinger and they took it from their skiers aspect and tried to make it as skier friendly and a better experience for us going in there and left as natural as possible. Past our area boundary in Tayton Bowl we do have some backcountry accessible runs. Uh, lots of people do venture out there. We just ask when people do go out there though, make sure you're equipped with your full avalanche uh, gear and you're skiing with buddies uh, and that you know where you're going in and you're skiing. I've been here for the last six years working as uh, Panorama Ski Patrol. It's a, an amazing job, very rewarding every day helping people out and uh, getting to go and ski. And uh, the patrol here, one big happy family. More and more Panorama is uh, family oriented. We have more to offer for the kids, Adventure Club. We have a tube park, we have a sliding park, and uh, we ha also have um, lots of game for kids, activities, so which makes it really good for family entertainment. Somehow, Invermere has captured the balance so many ski towns seek. Comfort and conveniences set amongst small town charm. 
authentic mountain experience at your fingertips that awake your spirit, and a level of care and service that reflects Invermere Panorama's commitment to making every visit unforgettable. With so many options, I couldn't resist the temptation to skate on Lake Invermere and glide over the same place I have been for a summertime swim. The new kid in town is the Arrowhead Brewery. Stop in and taste the unmatched quality of micro-brewed beer. My favorite was the soon-to-be-launched India Pale Ale. Just try to leave without a growler of your favorite. Downtown Invermere is an eclectic mix of locally infused art galleries, coffee shops and restaurants. Again, that perfect balance is achieved through the vast array of things to do in this historically rich, not so sleepy small town located smack dab in the middle of the Powder Highway. There's regular shuttles from the mountain down here. People that stay up there do come down to the town and enjoy our restaurants and music that we have here. Mike is not only the charming proprietor here at Angus McTougall's, he's also a talented musician who plays live music every Friday and Saturday night. What you can expect after a day of skiing is a warm welcome, party fair, and a spirited atmosphere you won't want to leave. Coming up, more from beautiful Panorama. Many snowfalls ago, I was coached and cared for by the dynamic duo Mark and Sigrid Sharp. Our paths cross once again here at Panorama Mountain Village, and I have a special treat to make a few turns with a devoted ski family who call this place home. Mom, Dad and all three boys are established and up and coming icons in the world of ski racing. I made sure my edges were sharp before I met up with this gang of hotshots. Well, I worked uh, with the national ski team up until the Vancouver Olympics and um, after realizing too many days away in the year it was time to come home and uh, running the ski program here for Team Panorama which is uh, about 130 kids um, right from the ages of five all the way up to the, this level. Amelia you need more, more way more direction on this gate. Okay, it's got to start above on the red. Panorama is, uh, it is a fantastic place for training and racing. Um, it's very convenient by you're staying on the hill right next to the slopes that you're racing and training on. Um, the mountain is very dedicated towards the sport. There's not a lot of mountains that are and Panorama really um, excels in catering for ski racing and helping the sport develop. The kids have grown up here. Um, it's, uh, we just live down the road and the, the kids have been in the competitive program since uh, five years old. And uh, grown up with a lot of kids that race here and it's, it's an awesome place to, to develop ski racers. As the kids get older in, in this sport, they're uh, traveling a lot and all going heading in different directions, but um, when we are all here together, at the same time, it is a pretty special place to go skiing with the family. Panorama's definitely always been my favorite mountain. I guess that's why we ended up here, because of um, 4,000 vertical feet of perfect groomed highways. Is, uh, that's the kind of skiing I like carving stuff and um, I guess that's also why it's great for ski racing. So much to do within a few kilometers of Panorama Mountain Village, it was time to experience something completely new to me. Backcountry snowmobiling in the depths of the Purcell Mountains was sure to get my heart racing. 
We traveled along groomed trails to the site of a long ago mining village, and I found out why snowmobiling is another popular activity in Invermere Panorama. Toby Creek Adventures have been around since uh, 1996, and uh, in the winters we offer uh, snowmobile packages uh, from uh, beginners all the way up to advanced uh, tours. So our bread and butter uh, tour is, uh, is our half day and full day tours up here at the Paradise Bowl. Um, we come up here and uh, it's an old mine site that has been here uh, for uh, over 100 years and uh, it's now our playground that uh, we can come and have some adventures uh, in the snow. Most of our clientele, our first timers, have never, never been or seen a snowmobile in their life. So uh, this, uh, this tour is geared perfectly for the, for the beginner. Uh, the, the, the touring sleds that we do use are, uh, are easy to use, easy to handle, and uh, people have a wonderful time on them after uh, they get used to the feel of a, a snowmobile underneath them. My very first time, and I'm completely in love with snowmobiling. We've been ripping around up in Paradise Basin with the Toby Creek Adventure Gang. I am absolutely hooked. I'm giddy. I gotta go. What could possibly be more relaxing after a day of skiing and sledding than an in-room massage with Jen from Pure Massage? Unless, of course, you combine an in-room massage with a soak in a slope-side hot pool. The Freestyle File, in partnership with Columbia, proud supporter of the Canadian Freestyle Ski Team and its athletes. Hi, my name is Roz Grunewald. I'm originally from Calgary, Alberta. I'm 22 years old, and I've been on the Canadian Halfpipe Ski Team since its inception two years ago. My last name is Dutch. People often think it's Greenwood or Growing Wood or Grown Wild or my teammates for a while called it Groaning Wild, but I love being called Roz G. Uh, I'm definitely really driven, but I like to think that I don't take myself too seriously. Definitely like laughing a lot and making a lot of jokes. I'm really proud of winning world championships in Park City in 2011. I'm also definitely really proud of my performance at the Aspen X Games this past year. It was only a week after my teammate passed away, and so I think it's probably the hardest event I'll ever do, but probably also the most proud of myself I'll ever be. I definitely got to know both Kelty Hansen and Megan Gunning uh, a lot better this year. I think Sarah Staff really drew us together. The three of us really, really like to dance. I have quite a few superstitions competing. They've definitely compiled over the years. I always compete wearing red lipstick. I also compete always wearing the same pur purple underwear. I have a few different pairs. Purple ribbons in my hair, which was a recent addition this year because a bunch of the skiers made purple ribbons in honor of Sarah. I always have purple elastics. I always, I have a Canadian maple leaf bandana that I always wear and I always compete the same song. My goals for this upcoming season definitely have a focus on the Olympics in 2014. I think this first Olympics is really important because it's the first time the world gets to see halfpipe skiing. It's a sport that I'm really, really proud to be part of, really proud to be part of the ski industry. And so it's the first time that we get to show off the world and really show what our sport's like and what our community's like. Coming up, more great skiing from Panorama. Now it's time for this week's web pool. Who's the best Canadian male alpine racer of all time? Is it A, Eric Gay, B, Steve Podgorski, or C, neither? Log on to snowsportsculture.com today and take the poll. Panorama Mountain Village has a snow school set up to provide fun learning experiences suitable for beginners to experts. I'm pulling my old friend, snow school director Jason, away from his busy day to show me where the best pockets of fresh powder are waiting. 
What a beautiful morning. This morning woke up 10 centimeters, a low cloud in the valley, and uh, then the sun started to pop through up high, so we made our way to the top, and man, it was fantastic up there. Panorama offers an absolute incredible variety of terrain. Uh, we've got great groomers down here at the bottom, uh, steeper groomed terrain above, glades everywhere. We've got Tate and Bowl in the back with about 1,500 skiable acres of powder. It's just a fantastic mountain. And even down here, we've got great green terrain for the kids and the family. Panorama is a great place to come and take lessons because of the variety of terrain and the hands-on care that we at the Snow School are striving to achieve. Uh, we definitely listen to the voice of the customer and stay close to it at all times to see what actually is working and what isn't so that we can do, you know, de deliver the best product possible and the best experience probably more important. Something I hadn't seen before is the new GPS tracking device called Flake that the Panorama Snow School has incorporated into all children's programs. Not only does Flake help ensure children do not get separated from their instructor, it also provides an end of the day mileage report via email so you can relive the day. A great way to never lose sight of the little ones. Uh, some other things that the Snow School offers is we're trying to really connect with the community and, and to the kids and develop long-term skiers. So we've uh, reached out to the community with programs like the Panorama Posse and the Tate and Tots. Uh, we even have the Purcell Riders, which is a snowboard team. So lots of things happening in that aspect. And we even cater to the little ones in a program called Snowbirds. If you're three to five years old, you get a one-hour private lesson, which is super, super cool and, and just gives the kids that, that necessary duty of care to make sure that, they, again, they have the best experience possible. So on the Snow School side of things, looking forward to next year, uh, we're just in the process right now of creating the Panorama Mountain Academy, which will give uh, young people, people of all ages actually, the opportunity to become ski professionals, whether they, they're looking for the ski or snowboard instructor stream, or perhaps they want to be a professional ski patroller. So that's our major focus, and maybe in five to ten years that could become a diploma program in uh, ski area management. So we're, we're really focused on, on bringing people here and educating them on the Alpine resort environment. Just a couple of years back, Panorama changed ownership and uh, the focus now is totally family friendly. We want to be the number one family focused resort in North America. And to that end, we've got uh, lots of things in place. Our beginner area is complete with a carpet, uh, two of them actually, to get the kids rolling and moving well there. Uh, after skiing, we have the snow castle to play on with a Euro bungee down here. Other things the family can do in the evening is tobogganing and tubing and there's also the hot pools and it's all right there, especially if you're staying at the Panorama Springs, everything is at your doorstep. It's absolutely incredible for families. We were having a blast playing in the trees, but as soon as fondue was mentioned, my stomach began to grumble. I made my way to the Summit Hut perched at the top of Panorama Mountain, and not even the infamous views of 1,000 peaks could distract me from the smell of melted deliciousness bubbling inside. One minute I'm diving into the powder, next minute I'm diving into cheese fondue at the Summit Hut on top of Panorama. Good thing I have 4,000 feet of vertical to ski down to wear off some of this cheese. Coming up after the break, proactive or reactive, it's really your choice. Stick around. Ski Tips with Josh Foster. Sponsored by Canada's favorite family ski resort, Big White, in a Thompson Okanagan near Kelowna, BC.
When I get into these challenging snow conditions, you know, a little bit of spring melt, freeze, tough snow, tough skiing, it's a bit of an apprehensive situation. I want to think of being proactive when I ski it. So when I get into those challenging snow conditions or bumps or trees or anything like that, you know, where maybe I'm a little bit apprehensive, what happens is my stance tends to move back and inside. Well, that's a reactive position. From there, things can get out of hand pretty quickly. What I want to try to create is a more proactive stance. It's not defensive driving here on your skis, it's offensive driving. Let's try a few more here. So here's what you can do to work on that proactive stance. Maybe come out to something that's a little bit more within your comfort zone here. Create some good feelings or almost a reference point for those feelings in your skiing. What I'm trying to do is create a bit of a bend here in my waist. That keeps me moving forward rather than being straight and back and on my tails. That's a proactive stance with the upper body. What I feel in my ski boots is along the whole length of the bottom of my foot, but I also feel my shins just on the front. I don't want to feel my calves on the back. I want to feel my shins on the front just like this. Get that feeling on some terrain you're comfortable with and then try it in the steep, challenging stuff. So I've got that good feeling of my waist bent a little bit. I can feel the fronts of my boots, and I feel the whole bottom of the length of my foot. That's what I mean by that proactive stance. Instead of being back here in the back seat where I'm reactive, I try to think of maybe even keeping my collarbones aligned over my knees here. Arms are out in front. I feel a little bit of shin pressure on the front of my boot. That's proactive. It's going to work for you in all sorts of different terrain situations. From beautiful Big White Ski Resort, Canada's favorite family resort just outside Kelowna, BC, I'm Josh. We'll see you next time. It's the end of the day. I'm just chilling out, catching a few rays. And something I heard about earlier when I was having fondue is an amazing experience for around $100 per person. RK Heli Ski will fly you up to this very spot where you can have cheese and chocolate fondue. I can't wait to come back for that. Sadly, that's all the time we have together. Can't wait to ski with you again soon. Ski Television has been brought to you by Columbia's Omni Heat. Keep your warmth, not your sweat. Mila, making premium German appliances since 1899 and by Bollet. If you never try, you'll never see.